What's up, y'all? We're here at Train Life Fit, and we got my boy right here, Justin Kutz. What's up, Train Life Fitters? Just did some hip mobility work, some banded distractions. How you feeling, man? Oh, uh, loose. Much better? Awesome. All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about eccentric control, which basically means how to control yourself on the negative phase of your movement, which is highly valuable, especially if you're new. If you're new to training, this is your first time training, Seek to control yourself in the negative. That's the best number one that's paramount. Okay? Stability before you start moving dynamically, moving into like crazy patterns and doing crazy cool stuff. So, um, also, what you should know is that on the eccentric, on the negative phase, you are the strongest. So you're able to really control and fight at, at a much better level than going through your concentric movement first. So learn the negative first and then be more powerful whenever you actually go through those strong, concentric movements. So, what does that even mean? It means that, in, in the context of a squat, for example, it means that you're really pulling yourself down actively through your hamstrings and you're engaging your hip flexors as well. So, to, to kind of demonstrate what that looks like, if you were doing a front squat, for example, I get underneath my bar, I'm braced, I'm loaded, pop up, get in position, I'm going to imagine there's, there's a string attached to my hamstring to the ground and it's pulling me down to the ground actively. So what I'm going to do, pull myself down all the way down and slow it up. Boom. And if you notice, in that movement there's like a slight jerk I did to come down and that's literally me pulling myself down through here, the back. So what you should feel if you do it right is your hamstrings just feel like they're working all the way down to the bottom of your squat. And when you get back, when you get down to the bottom, you explode up through your feet, push the floor away from you, boom, you got your movement done. Way more stable, you're preventing yourself from, from being hurt because now you're not at, you know, at the expense of gravity or the weight. You're saying, hey, this is what I want you to do, body. I want you to control yourself from here. And that's what I want you to work and stay controlled so I can protect my knee joint, protect my hip joint, protect my ankle joint, and then I'm going to explode up using a whole slew of muscles rather than just using a few muscles, right? And squats and deadlifts and things of that nature require your full attention. And actually for any movement, so if you were to do a lunge, for example, same idea, right? Right foot forward, left, left foot back, for example. That front leg is doing all the work, so eccentrically control, use that string in the back of your hamstring down on the ground, pull yourself down eccentrically, Explode up. Way more stable than if I just did this. So I was just here and went whoop, straight down, I'm kind of wobbly, I'm not braced, I'm not using this to pull myself down, there's no control. But if I pull myself down, nice and controlled, boom, so much more power for my movement. I'm not hurting myself, I'm progressing the way I want to progress. And this can be done in the context of anything you do sit ups, push ups, pull ups, bench press, especially bench press. Because what you should be doing on a bench press is literally breaking the bar and that's activating all your shoulder blade muscles. All the muscles around your scapula are stabilizing your shoulder joint as you pull down and then you explode up through your chest. Okay? And so I'll demonstrate more of these movements as we go on, but I just wanted to show you a basic front squat. Same thing with the back squat, any lunge, any lunge variation you do. Okay? So for more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the link below. Thanks, Justin, for being in the, being in the shot. You got anything to say? That's all <laughs> he I He says, what's up? All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.